Uh, he's coming from USC, uh, and his talk is going to be on the majority of mirrors. Okay, I would like to thank you very much for the invitation and a chance to come talk about some stuff I'm interested in. Okay, so the first thing I want to say about the mirror is. Uh, oh. What? The, the, the oh! <laughs> this was some place where I could not get in trouble. <laughs> Copy of yourself that's on the other side of this 
exactly the same distance apart, right? Okay. The one thing though is if you wave back yourself, <clears throat> what looks like your right hand is now your left hand, right? Can anybody explain to me why the mirrors reverse left and right and not up and down?
I download pictures of them, which people can have. Here's a picture of an automobile with some of uh, Neil Armstrong's footprints around it. So what you can do is you can shine a laser at the moon, and by the reflection principle, it'll exactly come back straight at you. Well, I mean, it's going to spread out there because it moves along with the way. But by measuring the time and using an interference pattern, you can measure the distance from your laser point to the end of the moon to about three centimeters, less than two inches air. So we now know, for example, you can do this and do things like this by putting lasers on the opposite side of the Atlantic Ocean. You can actually measure that the Atlantic Ocean is splitting apart at the rate of about I mean, six inches a year or something like that. Uh, the uh, other thing you can do is we know the moon is moving away from us about an inch and a half a year. So, you know, a long time ago, the moon was a lot closer. Um, okay. So, uh, let's think about another. So I'm going to have my theta, so I'm going to have my 
arrow here, my reverse arrow, and this picture is just going to be rotating. And I'm going to have, let's see, there, and there, and then finally I'm going to have, oh, uh, let's see, here, and here, my picture is there. And actually here, I have something to play with it afterwards. Something where you can put something down here and measure the angles and see what sort of patterns you get. Which is, a, um, you can see how the cancellation works and you really see when things um, line up when you get exactly the uh, 180 divided by an integer. Okay, let's, uh, let's solve one more problem with that. <coughs> so, Uh, let's see, A equals B equals C. 
which is alpha equals beta equals gamma, is 60 degrees. So that's the equilateral triangle with no gloves. Another one you can have is A equals one half, B equals one quarter. Okay, so oh, I see what I did. Yeah. B equals one quarter, C equals one quarter. So this is alpha is 90 and the pulse. I'm sorry.
I can always find a, uh, uh, what's sometimes called a light triangle, where if I bounce light through here, it would just keep going in this pattern forever. Anytime I have an acute triangle, you can do that. And the idea that proves this, I just pick three points on this side and measure the distances between them. And if I choose the points that makes the distance as small as possible, then it becomes a calculus problem with the light calculus to show that uh, these are going to be the, uh, these angles will be the, uh, incidents equal to that. Okay? But you can't put, you cannot put such a triangle in a, uh, you cannot put such a triangle in a obtuse triangle, but you might be able to do this. Bounce, 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 and start out where you ended up. Okay? So, it's unknown for any time anybody has been able to figure it out, for any triangle anybody has been able to do the calculation, I can always find some path where I start and I end up where I start. I might have to bounce a thousand times, but so far uh, nobody's been able to find one that you can't do that. Um, so, uh, again, uh, well, I already know this sort of thing that if you had the right idea, you wouldn't need to do much uh, advanced math to do it. On the other hand, it's probably be hard. And I will quit here. You're perfectly welcome to come play with my toys here. I also have a little bit of literature here on the mirrors and loom and also about um, um, uh, the guy that invented the kaleidoscope. He patented it and got no money off of it because this was in the what, early 1800s because they're so easy to make everybody just did it themselves. Okay. Uh, okay, and thanks again for having me here.
when you start to do these billiards problems and other sort of what other people would call she has close shapes, that, that's very much a mainstream topic. But it's nothing I that's nothing I